The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has announced that President Muhammad Buhari has ordered operators in the power sector to carry out mass metering of unmetered customers nationwide. The NEC also declared that it had not approved any increase in electricity tariffs as reported in some quarters on Wednesday. The information by NEC was signed by its chairman John Momo as the commission further clarified that tariff reviews going forward would only follow service-based principles. Joining us now is far sector expert Afolabi Akiro Ugunde. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Do you think this directive is implementable considering the reality in the power sector? Um, I think it's clear that this has already been implemented today. Um, if you go, if, if, if you cast your mind back um, to a few months ago, um, I think one of the discos, the Kedja discos, actually signed a, uh, a power purchase agreement with um, the GRA, the Kedja GRA Residents Association. Also signed a similar agreement with the residents of the Magodo estates, both in Lagos. Um, and, and these estates have been enjoying significantly a better power supply, albeit at a higher tariff. So, so what we are talking about is actually already in play today. So, and, and what you are seeing is the various um, discos are engaging different segments of the market and, and targeting better supply to, to, those, to those segments. Uh, Mr. Akiro Gunde, the directive from NEC expects that a tariff review will be based on services-based principles. Help us explain this some more. Does it mean discos can't increase tariff except with permission of consumers or subscribers? Well, what, what this simply means is that you will, you will get the service that you pay for. So, more or less, if you, if you, if you are ready to pay the, the attendant higher cost, your estate will get, or your residential area will get improved power supply. Of course, the, the um, discos will ensure that they've metered these areas first, that they've given them all the infrastructure, they've provided the, trans, the transformers and, and, what, and whatever is necessary to install that uh, the, the metering is, is being able to be done. However, the risk which you see here is that the better off parts of the country would get um, improved power supply, hope the part of the country that can pay for it, the parts of the grid which are better, which are better able to absorb these costs will be able to get better power supply, while the other parts of the country will, which may not be, which may be a lot more price sensitive, and which are on the grid will continue to be as they are until they are able or willing to actually sign these kinds of agreements. How soon do you think this estimated billing can be done away with? Estimated billing is, um, is, purely, is, is, is purely a function of lack of metering. Um, and, and, and once you find a way to solve the metering conundrum in the sector, then you would, of course, have estimated billings uh, out of the way. Um, again, as I said, the, the part of the, the, part of the discourse grid which are enjoying this premium power as it is called in some parts, it's basically areas which have been well, well metered. Estimated metering doesn't happen when you have a meter with you. So I think the, the core thing at the end of the day is to find a way to solve the, the, the metering challenge in the sector. And these are the parts of the grid which we will call undergrid part of the uh, undergrid segment. The, the areas where, pe where, where people do not have the resources to pay as much, where the discos themselves may be saying that I'm not making so much money from this area. So why should I spend my money putting it as there? All right, uh, let's talk about the supply itself. Do you think all of this will in any way improve electricity supply? Well, it, 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 will, it depends on how this eventually plays out. And if you look at it from the short, medium and long term. Um, in the short term, what will probably happen is that the parts of the country we where which are able to absorb this cost will of course get better power supply, which you already see in Onegongo, in Makoto, in the Keja GRA part of Lagos, and I'm sure this will of course be rolled out into other, other, other parts of the country. And what will hopefully happen, maybe, is going to be and in the medium and long term, where you will see other areas will then, will then hopefully say, okay, I might as well pay higher if my if the cost of, if I had the cost of using my, I better pass my neighbor generator or my own diesel generator is actually higher 
than the cost of, of actually um, enjoying a lower tariff, but still getting only two or three hours a day. So I think um, at the end of the day, we would actually, if, if the, we, we, we have an indirect way of actually increasing tariffs. You can right. continue to enjoy your tariffs, your low tariffs, but you only get two, three hours a day. However, if you want to get 20, 18, 22, 24 hours a day, then you know what to do. All right, Mr. Afolabi Akiro Gunde, thank you very much for your time and your thoughts. Thank you.